What's up y'all? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you've been following along, this video is a long time coming. Um, if you're new here, we're in the middle of restoring the underside of an EVO 9 and we are about to prime and undercoat this thing. Um, this video is taking what seems like forever, but there was a lot of work to do on the underside of the car. Well, granted, I probably overdid it, but my OCD wouldn't allow me to do anything less. So here we are. We are about to prime and coat this thing, so let's get to it. No more talky. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, if you didn't catch the last video, I'll link it up top, but we just did some internal frame coating. Um, we coated inside the rails and all that stuff of the frame of the car. Um, that should be fully cured now, so um, now we can move on to the actual body of the car. Um, we've got everything down to bare metal. Well, not all of it, but a majority of it. Um, and so, yeah, we're ready to go on this thing. Uh, the only thing I have to do still is wipe the car down with some prep all uh, wax and grease remover. Uh, to make sure it's all nice and clean. So we'll do that real quick and then we can mix the primer and uh, get to spraying this thing. All right, so for the prep all, uh, you just take a little shop towel. I fold it over a couple times and then you just spray it on. Get it nice and wet. And then you just wipe. <laughs> uh, this will remove all the, like, the greases and oils and all that kind of stuff uh, from the car and that will allow everything to stick as it should, or in theory as it should. So um, yeah, we'll do this to the whole car and then we'll mix the primer. All right, we got everything wiped down with prep all. Um, this thing is super clean. Uh, this is the last look of it like this. So. Um, yeah, let's mix some primer and uh, spray this thing. I've said it before in other videos, but I'm not going to go over like a bunch of specs on this because each primer has their own data sheet, but um, this is the brand I'm using. Um, it goes two to one, so two parts primer, one part catalyst. We'll pour it in here. It takes 15 minutes of its induction time, so we'll wait for that, and then we spray it. All right, y'all, putting in the headphones, getting in the zone. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm an idiot and didn't order any extra primer. Thought I had enough, I do not. So yeah, we're on our way to an auto body shop right now to get some more primer. Um, yeah, is what it is. <laughs> uh, all right, we're back. We got some epoxy primer, some catalyst. Um, this and the Omni stuff are both PPG. Um, they said this stuff is basically identical to the Omni, um, which it has the same induction time, same mixing ratio, all that stuff. Um, they said it's identical, so um, I could spray it over the existing stuff I've already sprayed, etc., etc. So um, yeah, let's mix some of this stuff and get to spraying some more. Step one is complete. Look at this. We got everything nice and coated. I did two coats on everything, um, two heavy coats. Um, and man, it just looks so good under here. Back in there was tough to get to. Actually, all this was tough to get to. Um, the gun was just you may have saw it in some of the shots, but the gun was just too tall. The car's not high enough off the ground, so it was um, quite the struggle the entire time. But um, we got it. We were able to maneuver it around and um, get what we needed to be spraying, uh, sprayed and all that. And so, man, I just... Oh, sorry. It's going to be cramped up for a second. I'm rolling over. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it just looks so good. 
nice and smooth. Um, everything looks good to go. I um, I'm going to let this dry for a while, and then if it's not dark yet, I'm gonna start spraying the undercoating on it um, today. So um, yeah, we're gonna let this dry for a little bit, but I am super, super happy with how it turned out. All right, y'all, it's the next day. Um, I decided to let it dry overnight, um, but I'm gonna go through under the car real quick and make sure that every hole and every stud is uh, taped up and closed up because uh, this Raptor liner will render them useless. So <laughs> um, let me go do that real quick and then we'll start spraying the stuff. All right, I think I've got every bolt hole and all that stuff blocked off. Um, I'm gonna cross my fingers that they are, uh, but time to mix the Raptor. We got the Raptor itself, then we got the hardener right here. We'll pour eight ounces of the hardener into that and then pour that into here. We'll shake it for a minute or two and then let it rip. Now, hopefully this won't be as, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit cumbersome and a little bit hard to work with under the car, but um, hopefully it won't be as bad as the other one because the other one was on top and so it was hard to like get up into some places, but um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Holy cannoli, guys. Oh, look at that. Um, so the first uh, coat is done. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit, and then I'm gonna add another little bit, go through and see what spots I may have missed. But, oh gosh, that looks so good. <laughs> Okay, several hours later, we are done. Are you ready to see it? say that I am pleased is an understatement. Um, it looks so good under here. I'm so happy with how this thing turned out. Um, I've seen it online and it looks amazing, but man, seeing it in person is a whole different thing. Um, and just looking at it and like knowing how long it took and the process and all that stuff. Um, uh, it's just, I could lay under here all day and just look at it, I think. <laughs> and here's the aftermath of my little paint suit. It is absolutely ruined. Um, this stuff gets everywhere when you spray it. so. Um, might want to have one of those if you're doing this. <laughs> Alright, that's going to do it for this one. I am super excited with how this thing turned out. I almost had a loss for words at how it looks. <laughs> I uh, am just really, really happy with it. Um, but now we can move on to the next things with the subframe, the brake lines, putting everything back on the car, all that good stuff. Um, I wanted to do some like custom brake lines, like make my own, but um, that's a little more custom than I want to do right now. Uh, so I think I'm going to skip that, but I do want to customize them somehow. So we got to figure that out first. And then, um, yeah, I gotta clean up the subframe, the suspension arms, all that stuff has to be Cerakoted and everything, so lots of work still to do, but um, here soon we should start seeing some parts go back on the car, and I'm excited about that to see how it looks and see how everything looks on the car, nice, new, and fresh. But if you've hung around this long, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it very much, as always. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the process, the progress, how this thing looks now. Um, if you have any comments or questions, drop those down there as well. I'm glad to help as much as I can, chat, whatever. And while you're down there doing all that stuff, don't forget to do all the other YouTube things. You guys know how it goes here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.